What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be able to show you something that I've been wanting to show you guys and share with you for a long time and that's how to tell when your fish is getting ready to lay eggs. The only reason I'm able to do this and get all this footage is because I actually came down with the coronavirus so I've been sitting at home bored out of my mind but I do have a fish in here that's going to be laying eggs within the next 48 hours and I'm going to show you how. So stay tuned, don't forget to like this video, and hit that subscribe button. So if you've been subscribed to the channel for a little while, you've probably come to the realization that I do have a small bias on flower horn fish, whether it be Confa, Kamalu, Zen Shows, Red Dragons, or Red Texas. Now I won't say all, but I will say that a good 90 to 99% of flower horn male fish are infertile. So don't get too excited because my Red Texas isn't fertile so we won't be having fry, but I am going to show you how to tell when your female is about to lay the eggs. So here's my 75 gallon Central and South American tank. Yes, there is a divider in here with two fish on one side. That's besides the point, that will be in the next video, so make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see what that's all about. But in here, we have my male Red Texas and a female SRD flower horn. Now before you get thinking that this video is going to be just about flower horn, this is true for all egg laying cichlids. So let's take a second and look at a still shot of this female flower horn from a couple of days ago. So a few things I want you guys to look at, I want you to pay attention to the color of the fish, and I also want you guys to pay close attention to the shape of the belly area of the fish right here. And also if you do have a fish with a cock or a coke, pay attention to that as well. Now let's take a peek inside the aquarium and see what the differences are in this female flower horn within the last couple of days. First, we're just going to talk about the physical differences in the fish, and then we're going to talk about the behavioral differences, as well as the differences within the tank. But right away, you can tell that the red is far more red. The coloration of the fish will be more vibrant when they're ready to breed. In the case of flower horn, when they have a cock, the cock also starts to swell and looks bigger than usual. And I'm not sure how well you can see it on camera, but if you look at her belly, you can definitely see just like any other thing that's pregnant, it definitely has a bump in there. There's definitely a fatter area in the belly that is not normally there. All of these things can happen just from having a great environment and a happy and healthy fish. That being said, we need to go into the aquarium and look at different signs that they're getting ready to lay. Another visual thing you can watch is the papella. Both male and female fish have a papella. It's basically their reproductive organ like you see here. A male will have a more pointy papella and a female will have a more rounded or flat edged papella like you see here. And this tells you more than just male or female. When it starts to protrude from the body, you know the animal is getting ready to reproduce as you see here. Now on to stuff that you'll notice going on with personality inside the aquarium. The male and the female will be hanging out around one particular area that they are calling their territory. In this case, it's the rear right hand side of the aquarium. They have a piece of slate down here, which is another pretty good indicator. They usually keep it relatively clean, but when they're getting ready to breed, they make sure to get all of the sand off of this flat surface. They also get relatively territorial and will be keeping the fish away from their territory. As you see here, you have the male red texas and the female flower horn down in the right hand corner and everybody else is somewhere else in the tank. I would say at this point if you've noticed all of these things happening, it's pretty fair to assume that your fish are getting ready to breed. They will also do their little dance, their little ritual, which is kind of awesome. Hell, I wish it was that easy for us, right guys? Oh hey baby. Now all that's left is actually just waiting for them to lay the eggs, and from my experience, I know this will be within 24 to 48 hours, so I'll catch up with you guys when they start to do that. <sighs> Fresh air. It's nice to be outside. But a little disclaimer for you guys, all fish are different, so these time frames may differ depending on your particular fish, and it might also change depending on their partner. This female flower horn lays eggs every three to four weeks if they don't hatch, but that could easily change just by pairing off with a different male. The next day. So it's the next morning, and I got something to show you. It's not eggs, but we're close. 
What we're looking at is this animal's patella when she turns around. You see it right there. It is way larger than it was yesterday. That's actually because her egg tube has dropped. So she's really getting ready. We are really close. She's gorgeous. What a stunner. Alright guys, check this out. I think we're going to get to see the first few eggs get laid. You just want to watch right where her patilla is. And here we go. One, two, three, there we go. Hell yeah. I'm so excited I finally got that on film for you guys. She's going to continue to go around laying eggs like this for quite some time and then he's gonna make some passes over these eggs as well and that's him trying to fertilize the eggs like you see right now he drags his patillo over the eggs it's not working but in theory this is how your fish's eggs would get fertilized don't be alarmed if they attempt to eat some of the eggs or knock some of the eggs off they lay hundreds of eggs at a time so the chances are they aren't gonna eat all of the eggs anyways if they're fertile now I don't want that to seem like fish never eat their eggs just because because sometimes they definitely do eat fertilized eggs for no reason sometimes it can be stress induced sometimes the environment's just not right sometimes something scares them it's too quick of a movement in front of the tank the other fish are getting a little too aggressive things like that could cause your fish to eat the eggs but we're gonna let these guys do their thing and we're gonna check up on them tomorrow morning so it's the next morning and I'm about to turn on the light I want to know what you guys think. Do you think there's still going to be eggs there, or did they eat them during the night? Let's see. Everybody's still alive. No aggression issues during the night, as you can tell. And let's see. Oh yeah, we still got eggs, guys. If you've noticed all the telltale signs that your fish were going to breed and then you can't see any eggs, just look at the fish. If you look at her, she's back to being dark. And her coke isn't big at all anymore she's still got that swelling but we do got our eggs i believe them not to be fertile they do get this brown color that makes you think they are fertile but they are not if you know the eggs aren't fertile you should probably take them out of the aquarium because they'll develop a fungus and the fungus isn't good it's a fungus obviously and actually from where i'm sitting right now i can show you a good example of a bad egg all right you see all these eggs here on the slate but right here, you got that one white one. A white egg is not a good egg. Like I said, the white eggs are not good. It means they haven't been fertilized. The ones here though, that are not white, are also unfertile. It does take a couple of days for them to turn sometimes. And that's basically everything you need to watch out for if you think your fish are going to start breeding soon. And if this video helped you out in any way, please just hit that like button. Consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Until next time, peace.